the Technical University Senior Administrators Association of Ghana, that's TUSAG, has declared an indefinite strike of unpaid allowances at a news conference here in Accra. President of the association, Adam Honu, said members will not resume work until government complies with the ruling of the National Labor Commission to get them paid. The Technical University Senior Administrators Association of Ghana strike comes in the wake of another industrial action by the Technical University Teachers Association of Ghana, TUTAG. According to TUSAG, the amount received by its members in December is below allowances paid to colleagues in other public universities who hold similar positions as lecturers. President of the association, Adam Honu, declared the indefinite strike. The convention was done in 2016 and since that time the migration process has delayed for so long we expect that what our colleagues are being paid as university staff in the other other traditional universities we are also public universities that has been enacted by an act and our expectation is that we would also be migrated fully onto the public university salary structure and its conditions of service he requested members rendering essential services to vice chancellors and registrars to continue to do so until National Executive Committee NEC decides otherwise. We understand that the, 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 the administrative system must continue running. That is why, though we are declaring a, 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 a total strike action, uh, we expect that the essential service uh, offices should be open for, for, for work. Okay. The association in a media statement on Wednesday, January 1, indicated that it was notifying the National Labor Commission, NLC, of their intended action to register their displeasure over government failure to comply with the NLC ruling. Now we have been joined by Fuswa Sama, who is the Executive Director of the National Labor Commission, to speak a little bit further on this. Uh, good evening and thanks for joining us, sir. Yeah, good evening. Um, now, so is the a Labour Commission aware of this strike by TUTAG and TUSAG? We are aware and we are fixed the meeting for Friday. Initially, it, it was for Friday they requested for Tuesday, but it later came to the attention of the Commission that the technical industries are beginning their exams some today and the rest some of them by Monday, so that if the meeting is shifted, to Tuesday is going to affect the academic calendar. Now, yes, how, yes, yes. right? How so, does the Labour Commission uh, 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 hopes to, you know, help resolve the the concerns of uh, Tutag and Tusak? You see, the, the the latest declaration of the strike of Tusak was done by a press conference. You see, and you don't hold a press conference today when students are beginning exams. Telling the Labour Commission that, or, in, or informing the Labour Commission the whole world that you have withdrawn yourself. You know what is good? The government is really, 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 really interested in having this issue solved. So all the ministers have agreed to come so that it is solved once and for all. Now, what the administrators have claimed is that there have been a mediation and they were sure that their demands were going to be met. But this isn't the case. Fact, Doesn't the this flout... I've assured, I've assured us that we are ready to pay the money there. It's just a matter of the two parties disagreeing on some allowances. Right. That is what we are... Uh, yeah. And I don't think... Um, I've always said it. I've had discussion with the president and of the association. Um, we have uh, appeared to have lost uh, Mr. Ofusua Sama, who is the, the executive director of the National Labor Commission. He was speaking to us about the strike action by TUSAG as well as TUTAG.